to all in law. This is a quick pediatrics, quick beats. And today I'm going to talk briefly about precautious puberty. So let's start a discussion on this. Guys, just remember the basic thing that is the precautious puberty before starting a discussion on this. I would like I would like to tell you the normal development normal development of secondary sexual characters characteristics in females and males in females and in males so how does it start in females tell me it's a breast development that is known as a thalarchy okay then height height growth spur okay then pubic hair remember this is really very important then it's a menarche so by the time they attain the menarche they will be 13 years old around okay right good in males it starts with a testicular enlargement testicular enlargement okay enlargement then penile enlargement okay then there is a height growth spurt height growth spurt okay then pubic hair so pubic hair is the last over here in males in a boys and in females it's gonna be menarche is the last okay so this will be around 14 15 years depends in males so males uh, uh, and in females okay so let's start about let's talk about the precautious puberty so remember precautious puberty precautious puberty okay guys so how do you define if a girl, girl, if there is a secondary sexual characteristics like thalarchy before the age of 8 years. So, thalarchy is the first thing that to appear, right? Thalarchy is the first, okay? So, before 8 years in a girl and in boys, if it's less than 9 years, then we call it as a precautious puberty. Onset of secondary sexual characteristics in a girl less than 8 years, in a boy less than 9 years, Okay? The two things important here is the pre premature de breast development, that is a thalarchy, premature pubic hair development, adenarchy. Okay, try to look for these features. So let's talk about the etiology first. What are the causes? Okay, remember the most important thing, what you have to remember is the premature activation of hypothalamo-pituitary gonadal axis. Hypothalamo-pituitary gonadal axis. Okay right it's premature activation of this so there are two things over here one is gonadotropin gonadotropin dependent okay dependent and one is gonadotropin independent gi gonadotropin independent gonadotropin dependent there's an increased fsh and lh they are going to stimulate this is what you call a, um, second sexual characters so increased raised fsh lh okay whereas in a gonadotropin independent there's an excess sex steroids so low fsh lh so if you want to know whether he has a premature uh, precautious puberty and what's whether it's a gonadotropin dependent or independent what you need to look for you need to look for fsh levels of fsh and lh hormones got it excellent now let's talk about the causes in males in males it's a biological because of the first initial thing as a secondary sexual characteristic in a male is a testicular enlargement so we'll think of bilateral testicular enlargement like we have gonadotropin from the brain tumor gonadotropin from brain tumor from brain like we have glioma then we have paneloma okay then we have 
हमाटोमा हमाटोमा ओके राइट एक्सेंट एंड दिस कैन बी हेड इंजरी आल्सो हेड इंजरी एनी हिस्ट्री ऑफ एनी ट्रॉमा दिस कैन बी आस्ट इन यूएस एमएल और एमआरसी पीसीएच एग्जामिनेशन देन वी हैव व्हाट यू कॉल if there is a this is a for a bilateral testicular enlargement if there is a unilateral testicular enlargement there can be a testicular leydig cell tumor leydig cell tumor okay and prepubertal testes like adrenal congenital adrenal hyperplasia cah okay for a prepubertal testes okay right Now let's move on to the females. What are the causes? So in a females, there's a premature onset of normal puberty. The organic causes are the most important is the Macquins, Albright, Albright syndrome. Whenever the Macquin Albright syndrome is asked, try to remember three P's. One P is what you call a precocious puberty. Second P is polyostotic fibrous dysplasia, and the third P is a paint that is cephalo spots. Cephalo spots. Okay, remember the paint. Okay, three P's. Three P's for what you call Macquins Albright syndrome. This is really very important for USMLE Step One examination and Step Two CK. Okay, we have a congenital adrenal hyperplasia also here as a cause. Ovarian granulosa cell tumor. cell tumor okay or in granulosa cell tumor or exogenous sex steroid exogenous sex steroid sex steroid okay how do you differentiate whether it's exogenous exogenous sex steroid or um, what do you call um, uh, you uh, you should look for levels of fsh and lh right right guys okay so what's the diagnosis and what what are the signs and symptoms you know the growth acceleration and uh, the important thing is what telarchy testicular enlargement look for these things and significantly advanced bone age really very important bone age is really very important okay the, um, how would you treat that how would you diagnose is by fsh lh okay measure these things okay measure the gnrh very important and look for is there any increase in the gonadotropins after administration of gnrh very important okay treatment is what you call uh, underlying cause is very important if there is tumor remove the tumor or if uh, you can treat with a gnrh analogs gnrh analogs okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video this was a quick pediatrics thank you so much take care